This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? And I have some Sega news. Literally. Sega has appointed Shuji Usumi as president, COO, and CEO of Sega of America and Europe. Usumi-san helped launch the PlayStation in the United States at Sony, the Dreamcast at Sega, and was involved with the creation of the Kingdom Hearts series at Disney Interactive, as well as Q Entertainment. Alright. Yeah, so this is pretty cool right here. I mean, Sega's making so many moves right now, and it makes sense when you think about it. If I were to tell you five years ago that Sega were going to come back from the dead after being in purgatory since 2018, you'd be, you know, I'd be saying, there's no way in hell this is going to happen. I mean, some major changes have to take place, and so look what's been tra transpiring. Not only that, I mean, look at the Sega brand as a whole right now. I mean, you're bringing back older intellectual properties, as you saw at the Game Awards with that with that trailer right there which is fantastic and they're going to bring older properties back and that's fantastic you know and sega decided you know what you know why not have somebody uh in charge in that department while we're at it too which is great you know the guy has a fantastic resume and he's tailor-made for this job you know fuck it why not and for someone who has this great of a resume how can you not like this decision it's brilliant you know and a lot of people are saying like oh he's he's the uh he's responsible for the dreamcast could this mean we, be, we might be getting the Dreamcast 2? No. We're not getting the Dreamcast 2. However, uh, a Dreamcast Mini would be nice. I mean, since the uh, since the uh, Genesis Mini was successful. So again, you know, a Dreamcast Mini would be nice. But again, you know, it's about supply and demand. And again, I think fans would love to buy uh, a Dreamcast Mini. Considering the fact that Dreamcast was a popular console at that point. Before the PlayStation 2 actually ended up killing it. That's neither here or there. But again, you know, that's fantastic right here, you know, and of course the uh, Kingdom Hearts series, fantastic right there. You know, like I said, I mean, this is brilliant, Mark. This is a brilliant move right here by Sega. I couldn't be any excited about this. You know, again, you know, like I said, I meant, you know, the company's making smart financial decisions here and there. You know, where five years ago, you had no idea what direction the company was going to go in. When I showed that portfolio meeting during the Angry Birds presentation back in, in late December... You know, I showcase, okay, what direction is the company moving forward? And then here's the evidence right here. They have a plan. They have an infrastructure. They already have their four pillars. And this is what you're going to get. And, of course, you got that big super game project, Retro Revival. They're investing a lot of money into these other projects. And the fans are excited. Shareholders are excited. You know, the company right now, things are looking better than ever before. But I like this move. Do you know why? Because now people who work for Sega of America, now they're going to be kept under a, a tight uh, leash, if you will. That means that you don't, that means that uh, whatever you say, you know, you're going to have to get it approved by Sega of Japan anyways. But now you're going to have a full-time president there and telling you what to do, what you can say, what you can't say. Basically, you're going to have someone there to monitor your every situation. And you know who I'm talking about, especially for Ian Flynn, who's been writing, uh, who's been, uh, but bit controversial as a late for for his takes on social media and of course that tales tube episode i'm not letting it go flint i know you had an involvement with that so if you fucking cross that line again i think it's safe to say that flint is going to be blacklisted from this industry because you already have fans already despising him already and i see him being a liability for this for this franchise and i think he needs to be ousted from power if he if he crosses that line again seriously because right now i see him as a fucking liability he's not loyal to the company I know what his real motives are, and that's going to come at a later video. You can believe on that. Let me know what y'all think about this, and I got to go. Peace out.